Can you use the iPhone 6s in 2021 or should you still buy one? Is it worth using in 2021? Let's find out. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and let's find out should you still buy an iPhone 6s or a 6s plus. So first of all, according to YouTube, almost all of you guys watching this video will not subscribe like so many other people. So consider subscribing at the end as it will help a lot in supporting the channel. So the iPhone 6s and the 6s plus were released in September 2015 and is now like five and a half years old which is a big number for a smartphone in terms of the age it was the successor of the iphone 6 like a small incremental upgrade in processor camera not the design and shape and also the strength of the aluminum frame which is the 7000 series aluminum than the softer 6000 series on the iphone 6 because of that bending issues with the iphone 6 and this one is pretty hard and solid and also 14 grams heavier than the iphone 6 it was a very powerful popular phone although not like the iPhone 6 which had the record cells at that time. It had very good performance, a very good camera for a smartphone and also this color is just awesome and still this hardware is very amazing. You can get this thing very cheap like around $100 for a refurbished one or less than $100 for a used one and it's just unbelievable that this is running the latest official iOS for this price which is something unthinkable in the Android world except some Pixel phones. So speaking of the performance and software it is running the latest ios 14 and the ios 14 runs pretty smooth and flawless on this thing especially considering the age but there are some issues with the battery life and this simply doesn't have that much good battery life throughout its lifetime with such a small battery it gets hot in some tasks but the performance is still very good but with the ios 14 it's a little bit slow and battery life is also not so good with the normal usage there is no any significant slowdown but in overall performance it just feels much slower than the other iPhones and also it has the Apple A9 chip which is a dual core processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM and these numbers might look pretty weak now but for this price this phone is still very confident it has a 6 core GPU and games play decent on it but there is a good amount of loading time in games and also with some lags but overall performance is still very impressive with this dual core CPU and only 2 gigs of RAM the iOS 14 is also not a failure on this phone i think but after all it's not that much fun using this phone still and also it's most probably not getting the ios 15 which will make it even worse in the upcoming year but still it's better than the iphone 6 which stopped at ios 12. speaking of the battery life it has below average to poor battery life especially by 2021 standards but if you get a refurbished one like this one with newer battery or you replace the battery then it might get some extra endurance but overall battery life is pretty disappointing you will get roughly two hours or two and a half hours of screen on time or slightly better in the case I mentioned and also with the 6s plus but which is again not the 2021 fashion as every phone is now with the massive batteries and five plus hours of screen on time is just getting very common so this phone is definitely falling behind in terms of the battery life but overall it's still usable and even might be enough for some people I think and speaking of the camera it is a 12 megapixels slightly better than the iPhone 6 camera and it's a very basic camera it was very famous and it used to capture very good clear pictures at that time but now you can say it's a normal camera with 4k 30 fps video it suffers a lot in low light conditions and in good lighting conditions it takes pretty decent photos which may be very normal for some people but yeah again this is 2021 and smartphone cameras have changed a lot but for this price you are still getting a very good quality smartphone camera and it is still very usable i think and speaking of the overall phone the design is very apple with traditional aluminum frame and big bezels with a fast touch id or fingerprint sensor on the front it still feels very solid premium in the hand and it's still a very good looking phone from the back the screen size is 4.7 inches and 5.5 inches for the plus one with 750 and 1080p resolutions respectively and the screen on 6s is not the 2021 screen i would say but it is still comparable to the iphone sc2 which has almost the same screen with some extra brightness so should you buy this phone in 2021 i would definitely say no unless you are on a very low budget and you just want a very very great value for the money and this one is for sure because you get the latest ios although might not get the ios 15 and a very premium solid build quality which is also very durable a decent camera with some noise in low light not good battery life and still very decent performance which no other phone can deliver at this price and can you still use it i would say yes it is still very usable i mean 
the performance is very impressive for such an old device. The design kind of look outdated but the hardware is still strong like the screen, the camera etc. The battery life is weak but still not very very poor like unusable. So that's pretty much all about the iPhone 6s in 2021 and let me know in the comments below if you are still using an iPhone 6s and how is your experience with it and thank you so much guys for watching please be sure to subscribe and support the channel i will see you in the next one